Hello Joe and welcome to a new Animal Jam video. Well, it's actually my first video. Technically my first. I did make videos but I kind of privated them because most of them were really bad and didn't get many views and I made them when I was very young. So I'm kind of starting over fresh with this video of drawing blindfolded in the AJ Art Studio. Going back to the classic game of Animal Jam in 2023. Now, the first question is what it is that we are going to draw, and that's just what we're going to have to figure out, I guess. Maybe this isn't a proper uh, video to do for, like, an uh, intro to YouTube or, like, a comeback or whatever, but too bad. I'm doing it anyway because it's fun, and I really wanted to do it back in the day because it was trending back then. So, yeah, I'm basically just doing some nostalgic stuff on Animal Jam. Anyway, what to draw? I just realized what this looks like. I was just kind of doodling. Looks like Roblox. We're going to be drawing Jam Ambassadors. I'm going to- I'm, I'm basically going to only draw the ones that I remember pretty well, because if I'm also doing it from memory, that's just going to be like hell. So, I don't want to do that. People that I can remember how to draw, like, like Apari. That can be our first one. Let me just finish this drawing that I did in the background. I think it's pretty cool. Ugh, Apari. What does he look like? He has a hat. I'm not blindfolded yet. I'm just trying to remember. He has a hat. He has a beard. He has a pirate sword. And, uh... No, he doesn't have a pirate sword, he has a worn blanket. And... And he has elf bracelets. Okay, that's already pretty hard on its own. Um, I'm not gonna- I'm probably not gonna color it in and just use black, cause you know how it ends up if you try changing colors. It's time to blind- <laughs> Oh man, I didn't- I actually didn't think about what it's like not being able to see it. I already forgot where my mouse was. <laughs> Okay, so, oh shit, uh, first you're gonna draw the ear, and then you have to draw the top hat, of course. Um, oh god, this looks terrible, I can, ass I, I can assume, okay, I don't even know how to draw wolves without a blindfold, so, um, there's, the, like, the cheek fur, and then, the nose. Just do smile and then pick up there for the chin. <laughs> and draw cheek for on the other side and boom, that's a face. Shoot, wait, where's my mouth? Uh, this can be a, a beard. I know it just looks like a blob probably, but there's no. Okay, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna remember where his eyes are, so we're not gonna draw a face. Um, I'm assuming this is where the body is. And draw. Oh god, I'm probably off. <laughs> and then just draw a tail, just like bullshit a tail right there. Um, and then legs. You know, I'm just gonna make them stumps. And then a worn blanket. It's just gonna be. It's just gonna be a bunch of spiky things because I'm too lazy to draw all that. And then, oh shoot, uh, I don't know where the legs were, um, elf bracelets, I'm just gonna draw little squares for elf bracelets. <laughs> I bet none of this is even picking up. Okay, honestly, I'm done, I think. And time for the grand reveal. And, you know, this actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see any of it. Um. But I can kind of see, like, this is the top hat, and then here's an ear, and then here's the other ear, it's a little off-center, but here's the fur, here's the smile, so I can just add the eyes. See, and then... See, look, that looks like a pro top. See, we got his tail, and we just have to, um, add the stumps. Here's his other arms, <laughs> and the uh, elf bracelets, and... It's a big tail. Uh, we can put the one blanket on the tail and then... Yeah, see? 
Wait, I forgot the beard. Yeah, see, that looks like a party, and then you just color it red. I told you I was- oh, Jesus. I told you I was getting somewhere. Oh, Jesus, now it's all red. Well, I'm just gonna have to erase and start over. I think that was actually a pretty good uh, first attempt at this fight. <laughs> the fact that <laughs> I completely clicked off at one point. Um, I would say mission accomplished. Man, thinking about the gymnasters, they're also hard to draw. Let's do Vepper. It's gonna be a little hard, because <laughs> I already don't know how to draw the Magenta Furry, but... Let's put the blindfold back on, and... Uh, here we go. I'm just gonna have to make it a look, look furry, right? And then... This is the... <sighs> snout. Oh, I don't know how to draw an arctic box, and then... It's got fur. Here we can put the wings. I can draw wings pretty good, I think. Well, okay. No, <laughs> that would probably look really bad, actually. <laughs> Is there anything on her paws? I don't think so. I think there's paws. So let's put them here. That's probably where they go. Um, the big tail. That's a... Oh wait, I forgot the Arctic foxes. They have like this fluff thing. I think this is where the body was. And the grand reveal again. Take two. Uh, okay. No. Oh my gosh. I mean, I can see it. This, this is the magenta furry up here. And then. I don't know why this is so low, but I think this is like the fluff, so we can draw a little face. And then here's the wings. See, look, the wings are. This is actually kind of cute. <laughs> and then this is the legs, right? And then we draw the tail. Boom! It's better. And then we just have to add the uh, magenta coloring. And let, let's even sign it so that everyone knows. <laughs> And the Arctic Fox fur thing. Oh my god, you could be convinced that I was writing her name blindfolded too, because of how ugly it looks. This could actually be really cute if I stopped clicking off somehow. I don't even know how I'm doing it, because <laughs> I draw so small. Hmm. What about Sethi? Uh, he's, this is just like a penguin with a sword and a cheese hat in like a moon pattern, right? That's pretty easy. I mean, the cheese is probably gonna be hard. So let's start. With, let's start with the hard, let's start the hard part first. Blindfold on, and here we go. Oh Jesus! Oh man! I know I've only been drawing for two seconds, but I already feel like it's a disaster. And it's only gonna get worse from here. And then it has like a thing where it's like three-dimensional cheese. And then, oh boy. Okay, so this is probably- oh shoot, I feel like I just clicked something. Um, and then this is where the body is. It's very round, oh god. Uh, I think this is gonna be my worst one. <laughs> Cause I already forgot where the eyes are. I think they're just beady little eyes. Let's just put beady little eyes and then triangle for the beak in the corner. I can't give him a smile cause I, I don't even know how to draw a smile on a penguin when I'm not blindfolded, so. Oh shoot, I forgot the pirate sword. Um, we're gonna get a pirate sword. That's just like a little strap for the sword, and then here's the actual sword. It's got like the handle and the pointy bit. I don't. Am I doing this right? I don't know. Then we're gonna. Um, then we're gonna draw the little uh, markings that every penguin has, and then you know how it is. And then. Uh, he has a bunch of moon patterns, so I'm gonna draw all of those somehow. And then lastly, these little penguin flippers at the bottom. And there we go, there we have Sophie, let's look at it. Oh my god, what happened here? I can see like these are supposed to be the moons. And then this is like his face, I think. But what is going on here? I'm like. How did I even screw up this bad that I was drawing sideways? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I actually don't, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's just draw like a more detailed face for this next one. And I've basically been only doing the 
members from the Cool Kid Central server, because as pr little promotion for that server. So next I'm going to draw Twinkle, and since I can't really remember what her look is like, I remember I only remember the gazelle horns, and that's why I'm only going to draw the face, but we're going to make it a really good looking face. And I'm going to remember where everything is, so let me get a good look at where my mouse is, and then... Okay, first we're going to have the ear with the little nick thing in it, because the Arctic Wolf ears have that in most of the artwork. Then I'm gonna put a little hair tuft and then another ear on this side. Um, there's the inside of the ear. So there's the nose and then the chin and then it's like something like this and then fluff on the side of the cheek. Then it should go back up to the face. And then we're gonna draw the Did I draw the inside of this ear on the other side? Oh god, what am I doing? I don't know where I am anymore. Um, I'm gonna assume this is the top of the head and start drawing like gazelle horns. It's probably off screen at this point, let's be honest. Okay, and then they're just kind of bending and then they got stripes. Twinkle has like white fur, but like the, the wolf's face is black and then I knew I said I was going to put detail, but I'm going to put little dot eyes because I already feel like I'm messing up so bad, and then a little smile. Okay. <laughs> Time to see it. Oh my god! <laughs> this looks so bad. This is really like a war shark test or whatever those things are called. <laughs> it's like, what do you see in the ink blob? And then earlier they used to be so recognizable, so what did I do? I was like trying so hard not to draw too big that I draw too small. No. Now we just have to give him a he give her a head, and then there. See, you can you. Oh my God, you can totally tell that's a wolf. And here's the arms, and then and then then we write then we write twinkle. Zero, one, two, two. Look at this, look at this, the fan art is amazing. Well, it is a promotion for Cool Kid Central, so how could I leave out with Steering Moon? Blindfold back on, here we go. Okay, we're gonna go real detailed with this top hat. Okay, okay, there's a top hat. And then, and then we're gonna draw the ear. It's gonna have all this realistic fluff, it's gonna have like an inside. And then, it's, and then we're gonna have fluff on the side of the face, and then a big snout, ending in a smile, and then the, the nose, then <laughs> the chin, right there, and then fluff on the side, on the other side, and then I hope this is like by the edge of the face, because I'm trying to finish the face, okay? So that, that should be a wolf face, I bet it looks really amazing. I have so much confidence this time. I know I'm doing it right. And then in the face, we're just gonna do your, your usual dot eyes and a smile. Look at this. Look, it's beautiful. And then probably, I mean, you guys can look at it. I can't. Um. <laughs> then I just uh, draw like the wolf fur because it's got fur. Uh, and then the other pattern, which is the lightning bolts. And I'm not gonna make them all big. I'm just gonna draw them. Kind of like lightning bolts. And this should look somewhat like Wisteria. And time for the final reveal. Oh boy. Oh great. Oh that was a great finale. <laughs> oh yeah I was really going off screen at this one. I mean I could see it. This looks like a ear and then this looks like a snout and look at this. Look at this. This is like a wolf. Kinda. <laughs> I made the face. And this is the top hat, and then the other ear. Here we go. We're gonna draw and give her a little big thumbs up. Cause she's happy. And she's not suffering. Ignore that. That's not a tear, I promise. Wow, she's so desperate. Don't worry, I'll put you out of your misery, fake with your man. Um, I wouldn't make it into a den item, but unfortunately, I'm a greedy little broke jammer, and I'm gonna keep all of my diamonds. Well, that was a very underwhelming finale, but I can't really think of what else I can draw, and this is gonna come along, so... <laughs>
I honestly can't wait to go back and watch it and see how the hell I messed up so badly. Comment down below which one your personal favorite was. Personally, like a party or something. I, I already forgot who I drew. I have the worst memory. I'm hoping I can make more Animal Jam content because my one in my one true goal is to revive this game and bring people back to it and see if they can get nostalgic watching old concepts like Drawing Blindfolded. That was like my uh, my favorite trend back in the day. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I definitely incentivize you to create masterpieces and see if you can do better than I did. All right, uh, I don't have an outro.